this is mine. Welcome to Dark Bay. Good morning. Yeah, this is a quick revisit to Siegler Reels. Yeah, I'll, I'll go back a little bit, of course, as I usually do on these products. Yeah, Siegler's used to have a different name, a couple of different names. Initially, they were known as Release Reels, yeah, and they had to change their name yeah, because of, I think, Release Fighting Chairs. And then came another name, yeah, Truth, which Maybe you can see here on my LGN, this is my own reel, you know, that I fish a lot. You know. And they ran into a problem with another company, I think Truth in Hunting Videos or something along those lines. So they couldn't call their reels Truth. You know, they could fight these things, you know, but that costs a lot of money and ultimately they came with another solution, which was simply to go along with the name of the couple that owned the firm. So they are now known by their last name, Siegler, and uh, they don't have an issue with trade names <laughs> at that point. So trade name issues are all over. It's now 2020. We started with this company back, oh boy, I used to look at where they were thinking of going uh, initially. Um, they weren't making products themselves yet, but they showed a couple of designs. Wes over there is a, a gearhead. Uh, he's an old bike racer type character. Yeah, and he thinks well. <laughs> kind of a little bit out of the box too yeah, with their reels. But they had their challenges yeah, with the name change, but some things have stayed true throughout, which was one, a lifetime guarantee, you know, good service you know, from the people, straight ahead designs, and as time progressed, it's just a wonderful, you know, a wonderful step-by-step -step improvement of the machining quality you know, and reinforcement of the designs, which which really put them well, on the map. You can see, there's a wide range of reels these guys produce, you know, from little SGNs, which are very very diminutive, uniquely stepped spool. Now, I, I'll go back a little bit with these guys. You know, we have two examples of. SGNs, small gain narrows. And these small gain narrows are uniquely stepped on the spool, you can see there, which is kind of neat. You know, the arbors on all their reels are very, very small, and we'll see that on some of the bigger pieces. Just wanted to show there are two different arm lengths you know, represented here you know, on the pieces. You know, not sure if that comes through real clearly, but I'm going to say maybe up to a half of an inch difference in length. You know, the standard you know, arm lengths are what we typically will inventory. You know, the longer handles are something available from the manufacturer. If a person doesn't mind waiting a little bit, you know, we can get those special ordered in. But typically, you know, the long arms are for specific applications where that is a, of a benefit. You know, faster retrieve, obviously the shorter arm is the way to go. More power maybe comes out of a longer arm. You know, from a physics standpoint, that's probably a benefit. The reels are typically available in three different color configurations. There'll be a blue and gun smoke, gun smoke and red, and gun smoke and silver. So three different cosmetics you know, to all their reels in the line. And we'll keep one of them out here. Now, let's see here. And we'll start moving into the small games. Now, a small game by comparison is wider. Small game narrow, small game. You know, the small game narrow holds, manufacturer says, about 350 yards or so of 30 pound braid. You know, I think that's an accurate spec. If we go to the small game instead, they're saying 450 of 50 pound braid. So then you can vary your top shots accordingly. All of the Seaglers are lever drag reels. They have a nice loud clicker. It's not soft. Standard lever. There is a stopper. You can depress that and go into full. You're not going to accidentally do so because it stops. That's why they call it a stopper. This is also another long arm versus shorter arm. So small game, small game narrow, and then we get into their bigger gear. And the bigger gear, again, two different size representations in the gun smoke and silver.
Now, this is where we started getting kind of interesting. Again, <laughs> my old LGN <laughs> truth. This guy, uh, you pick up 52 inches per crank on the LGN and on the LGs back behind. So, good retrieve rate. And in my estimation, this is one of the nicest jig reels, jig stick reels you can own. Now, I run this on an uh, eight-foot uh, United Composite Challenger Platinum uh, ADMH uh, rod, which has done real, real well. Loads up great, great for long-distance casting. Drag is there. You know, the LGNs, like I said, they hold a deceptive amount of line. Now look at this arbor, how skinny that is, how small it is. Manufacturer spec on their website, I'm going to say is wrong as far as the line capacity. They were saying about 400 of, of 60 pounds. That's not right. You know, with that arbor that small, these guys will take, I'm going to say 400 of 80 uh, on here. You know, maybe a little more than that, but 400 of 80. And if we go to the wider spool, the LG version, a large game, there you can get 600 yards of 80 pound braid on. You know, again, that small arbor is just brilliant in my mind <laughs> because it's wasted space on so many reels. You know, and so with the Seaglers, you can go ahead and get the benefit of that you know, by extending the line capacity considerably. Long arms you know, on these guys, you know, you know, that's, you've got more cranking power. Uh, gear ratio, you know, 6 to 1 on the retrieve, so it's plenty fast. You know, plenty fast. And same across the board, all the Seaglers are a 6 to 1 retrieve you know, of this series. You know, small games, small game narrows, large game narrows, and large games. All will give us that you know, retrieve rate. So, you know, that part be the end. How about the rest of the drags out of these guys? What will they produce? Well, all of them will go down to three pounds worth of drag. So if you're trying to deal with a light drag setting, these guys can do it without having a requiring you know, to get a different cam on them. You know, so our drag performance, we're seeing from three to 30 pounds worth of drag. And when you get into the LG and the LGNs, there they'll go up to 35 pounds worth of drag. You know, you know, max figures, but they will go down to three pounds. So the guys who ran a kingfish tournament, for instance, you know, where you're dealing with lighter line tests and you want a real light drag setting, these guys will do it, but they'll also button down you know, and give you a lot more <laughs> drag capability. So uh, it's a big plus you know, that way across the board for them, I think. Okay, so how is our free spool performance? Put a little sticker on this LGN. I've got my old SG out of the way, and let's give it a spin. See if we can get her to balance here. Not shabby. That ain't too bad. Let's see how our drag setting is on this guy. Yeah, that's up there. I'd say that's about well, 12 to 15 pounds worth of drag. Darn close to it. We'll give her another spin. And let's do the same for this little SG. Great little reels. The one thing I've noticed about Sieglers is the free spool performance actually improves over time. They're pretty proud of the oil and the grease that they use, and they, and they use it liberally. You know, so free spool performance fresh out of the box seems okay. And boy, when these guys first came out, um, oh, I don't know, eight years ago, seven years ago, there wasn't much free spool out of the box because they had rubber seal you know, on the bearings. Yeah, but that improved you know, over time considerably. Warranty on Seaglers is lifetime. Uh, that's unusual. <laughs> and they stand behind it. Uh, you'll be out shipping. That's about it. Uh, if there's service that's required. They make them so they're not hard to take apart. Now, I mentioned that they do some things uniquely. Uh, and they, they truly do. Uh, for example, the screws that they use. 
You know, the problem we get into with machined aluminum reels, we use stainless steel uh, screws and bolts, and we wind up with corrosion wherever those dissimilar metals come in contact. With Sieglers, they even went to the extent of making these heavy-duty, larger bolts, and they make these out of aluminum, so there is no aluminum to stainless at that point. Yeah, it's, it's aluminum to aluminum, so the dissimilar metal concern uh, and corrosion is eliminated. Yeah, there is good porting from the reels. Uh, they do; they are made uh, to be, you know, to get wet and to clean up and to dry out. You know, overall though, these are just wonderful little pieces to own. Yeah, you know, and they cover such a wide range. You know, uh, with 400 plus yards of 50 pound braid. Yeah. You know, and this size reel, it's, I mean, it's comfortable fishing 20 pound line, it's comfortable fishing 30. You've got plenty of drag to fish 40, and you've got line capacity for that uh, off of something that small. Six to one gear ratios on these guys. Uh, weight, uh, the little guy, about 11 ounces. Now they do a signature version of this where they cut out a lot of the side plate. I own one of those, uh, which I didn't bring with me today. I don't have one to show you, uh, but now, having said that, we go from 11 ounces to 12 ounces on the SG. So, 11 ounces on the SG uh, narrow, the SGN. We go SG, we're at 12 ounces. And now we get to the big gear. And we're at 18 ounces for the LGN. And we're right about 20 ounces uh, for the LG. So, 20 ounces, 18 ounces, and then 12 and 11. Not bad. Nice, nice reels, good cosmetics, wonderful warranty. Um, these reels are all made in the U.S. Now, they're made in Virginia. Um, their factory is, I think, about 20 miles from the nearest convenience store. Uh, they are definitely out in the country, uh, which is a nice place to be. So, wonderful pieces, U.S. made, U.S. supported from a warranty standpoint, uh, unique in the industry. And you can, you can do a lot of searching. Uh, a lot of guys in Europe have found out about these guys. Uh, gosh, there's another website, Pimp My Reels, I think. Uh, he's taken these apart and you know, put them back together again and raves really about the construction. So that's a quick rundown on the Sigler product for 2020. Again, they have a couple of other models. Uh, they've got a surf piece that's very, very innovative again, the starter egg. They have a larger reel that's more sailfish oriented. Um, they even have a high-end fly reel uh, if you want to go out and catch GTs, GTs on a fly. Yeah, but bread and butter, small game narrows, small games, large game narrows, and large games. And those four sizes cover, you know, 80% of what we probably do out there. Yeah, if you're looking for a great jig tosser, an LGN is uh, what's replaced my mule. You know, I run an HXJ as well you know, in that application. But um, and my JX you know, from Avid, but this LGN is getting a lot of use you know, from me now. You know, I've, I've really learned to like the piece. Ergonomics are a little bit different. You've got a couple of sharp angles on the thing, but it'll hurl a jig a long, long ways. And it's six to one, 52 inches per crank. It's it's a dandy piece you know, in in that application, as is the small game and the small game narrow you know, for their respective respective applications. And even we'll have some more product videos coming. It's been a few years since I, I looked at the Sieglers and, and posted a video on them. Last time I did, they were Truth, and before that, they were released. This name will stick around for a long time. at Siegler, you know, which, well, I hopefully we can make that out a little bit on the variation there from Truth. Two sequel. Thanks for watching.